r slash ask reddit, what would be the most impressive thing to steal and get away with? I used to work at Microsoft and for a period around 2006 there was a string of car thefts from one of the campus garages. These guys were showing up in workwear, coveralls, with a flatbed truck and just straight up loading cars onto their truck and driving away. See I'm not entirely sure what's stopping someone from buying a tow truck, painting it black, put a new logo on it for every theft and just stealing nice cars. No one would bat an eye. If you get caught pretend to be annoyed and say hey next time don't park your car there. Maybe repaint the truck every so often. You could actually take it further. You could start your own towing business. Get it registered with whatever municipality you live in. And go around looking for someone to park where they shouldn't. You could literally steal nice cars legally. Ducking vultures. There is a prominent meteor hunter who sold a huge meteor from Argentina to a collector in Japan. Price was over a million dollars. After loading it on a truck and heading to the airport in Buenos Aires he was detained by the police. But turns out it was a national landmark and a con artist sold it to him. I've had the ultimate yacht heist planned for years. All you have to do is go down before a big hurricane comes select the finest yacht. Sail it away and then when the hurricane comes and you see boats all over the shoreline trashed, the owners will assume their boat is also trashed. But no, it's 25 miles upriver in a boathouse getting re-outfitted, charging, original owner gets a new boat from insurance, everyone is happy. While young dumb and drunk my best friend and his brother attempted to walk out of a McDonald's we were at with a life-sized Ronald McDonald statue that was in the store. The employees were dumbfounded and didn't really attempt to stop them. But it was apparently really heavy so they didn't get far before having to drop it. They only lived around the corner from the store and police showed up there about 30 minutes later. Someone we knew worked at the McDonald's apparently and asked us, did you guys try steal a Ronald McDonald tonight? We laughed and told them no and nothing ever came of it. At the time I thought it was impressive and hilarious. For senior pranks at my high school someone once stole a Ronald McDonald and placed him on top of our football stadium. And then a few years later someone else stole a metal mariachi man from the front of a local Mexican food place and did the same thing. A classic train robbery, except you steal the train, and not the cargo. A few years ago some people in white coats with clipboards and a piano removals van walked into my music conservatoire, told the front desk they were here to collect a Steinway grand for repairs. Staff helped them load this 80,000 pounds piano into their van. They drove off and were never heard from again. Carrying a clipboard is life's cheat code. My dad's friend, slightly tipsy, once loaded all the plastic patio chairs at a bar, around three dozen into the bed of his truck and drove him with them. The bar owner didn't even bother to stop him. Just said, he'll see those in the morning. Ask himself why the duck do I have all these chairs? And bring them right back. Mark my words. Sure enough, at around noon the next day, all those chairs were brought back when the dude sobered up lol. The Pepemobile. Then post videos of one doing donuts in high school parking lots with your friends hanging out of the Pepemobile. Going down the street in the Pepemobile cat calling the girls. Maybe use it as a getaway car in a small robbery. Instead of selling the Pepemobile one could monetize it through YouTube and have fun doing it. The Eiffel Tower. It's been attempted many times. So apparently sports authority when it was still in business was one of the easiest places to steal from because I have two completely separate group of friends that stole some big items from there. First group. Two guys. One guy walks in and grabs a bicycle while the other one grabs a kayak. Guy rolls the bike out while the other one carries the kayak out like they bought it. Second group. Also two guys. They walk in and grab two of those multi-people tents. $400 plus, and carry them right to the customer service desk. They tell the employee that their mom bought the tents but lost the receipt and asks if they can return them without the receipt. The employee tells them they can only get store credit for them. So they said okay, never mind then and left with them. They went back a week or two later after they used the tents and returned them for store credit. Maybe so many people stole from sports authority that it ran out of business? Pro tip. If you pay your employees minimum wage, they'll laugh when you get robbed. The D from the Hollywood sign. 
Hollywood stars and celebrities. What do they know? Do they know things? Let's find out. Went to a friend's wedding in Florida. She was the bride and asked if I wouldn't mind driving over to the supermarket, Publix, to pick up the catering for the bridal party's lunch. I drive over, speak with the deli manager, and in 15 minutes I'm loading up a shopping cart with about $250 worth of chow. I got a bottle of wine for my hotel room that night. Go to the checkout, put the wine on the conveyor, pay for it. I motion to all the food in the cart and say that it was prepaid, as I assumed it was, for the wedding and the cashier smiles and wishes me well for the day. The bagger assisted me out to the car, get back to the bridal party with all of the bags. Bride asked me how much everything was. I said I didn't pay for it cause I thought you did. She hadn't. So I had a jolly time inadvertently shoplifting C. $250 of food. Edit 1. A lot of folks have commented that my friend the bride set me up. But later I found out that she had delegated payments to her groom who, while a nice funny guy, is, how to put this, useless and forgot to prepay for all of the grub. Kudos, though, to the public staff, from the deli manager who helped me load a shopping cart, to the kind cashier and the bagger kid who helped me out to the car. I'm sure they have me on CCTV, jaunting behind the cart like Uncle Remus singing Zipper D Duda, Zipper D Day while I rip off the store. This is the most public thing I've ever heard. Cashy's manager was probably like but you did wish them well for the wedding, right? Great no problem no worries good job. A UPS truck. Then I drive to an open field and start ripping open packages and look at the array of random shit people ordered online. Car parts. Food. Dog toys. Dildos. Electronics. It would be crazy. After the apocalypse I will refer to UPS and FedEx trucks as Christmas trucks. Guy from college hopped over the bar in the club and stole their entire credit card payment system. A few machines. Wires. Everything. It was funny at the time. But it's even funnier today. A kid in my high school class stole a canoe from Sears. Just started walking out with it like he just bought it. He even had an employee he encountered on the way out help him to his truck. I don't condone shoplifting by any stretch. But, damn. My dad had a story like that. At a place he worked years ago. The boss came back from a beating and saw somebody struggling to put a lawnmower in their car. He helps and sees the customer off asking if he needs help with anything else. When he goes on he explodes at his staff about not helping the customer with the lawnmower. But nobody has sold a lawnmower today. And then what happened? Then he fired everyone for missing a guy walking out with a lawnmower. The moon. Yeah, I mean. Where would you hide it? I'd shrink it, then put it next to my stolen great pyramid of Giza. What's your vector Victor? The Sphinx. Someone already stole his nose. World's greatest game of I got your nose. Stephen Hawking's wheelchair. I'm sure he has way more than one. Probably like Iron Man. He has one for every occasion. Slave. Fetch me my finest wheelchair. I have a date tonight. I tried to steal a large painting from a bar. It didn't work and I can tell you they definitely weren't impressed. My heart. 17 sperm whales. Those are rookie numbers. You gotta pump those numbers up. A delivery truck near Christmas. Think of all the presents. I'm pretty sure they have geolocators on them. Not to mention it's a federal crime. Always thought it would be neat though. A plane while drunk and being able to land it like Tommy Fitzpatrick did. 1956. For a bet and while drunk. He stole a small plane from New Jersey and then landed it perfectly on the narrow street in front of the bar he had been drinking at. Then. Two years later. He did it again after a man didn't believe he had done it the first time. He technically got away with it the first time since the charges were dropped after the plane's owner declined to sign a complaint. He did end up getting 6 months in jail the next time for bringing a stolen item into the city. Even though he did end up charged that time, it's still pretty much a slap on the wrist compared to what it would be if you tried that today. Here is an article about it. My friend once stole a duck from the Houston Zoo. 22 tons of Nutella. What would I do with 21 tons of Nutella? My virginity. Go ahead and try it. I dare you. A whole bridge is quite impressive. Fort Knox. 
The Declaration of Independence of course. In the 50s M1, probably students, stole a car and Ray assembled it on the dome of one of the buildings at MIT, a police car. The Grand Canyon. Isn't a canyon an absence of rock? How do you steal nothing? Ro, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast. Thanks for watching mate, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more high quality content.